What's going on everyone? Sean from All Things EV here and in this video I want to cover how much an electric vehicle battery actually cost. This is an infographic that was done in partnership with Benchmark Minerals Intelligence, whom I know and have had on this channel to interview, as well as Visual Capitalist. They put the data together into a really nice infographic that I'll use here in this video and link up in the video description for you to take a look at. They cover six electric vehicles, some of them in production, others not. The first one that they cover is the 2025 Cadillac Escalade IQ. The total cost of the vehicle is estimated to be at $130,000. We don't know the exact price yet because it's not in production. The cost of the battery pack is estimated to be at $22,540. That's 17.3% of the actual cost of the vehicle. Those cells are provided by LG Energy Solution. And with these batteries, the chemistry matters in terms of how much it costs, as well as the energy density. The Escalade IQ is expected to use a NCMA for their chemistry and will comprise of a 200, 200 kilowatt hour pack which is massive. The 2023 Tesla Model S battery pack is estimated to cost $12,030. Those cells are provided by Panasonic. The total cost is around $88,000. That has been increasing and decreasing uh, pretty rapidly over the last 12, 12 to 24 months. And that 12,000 and some change is about 13.6% of the actual cost of the vehicle. They are using a nickel cobalt aluminum NCA and the battery pack capacity is 100 kilowatt hours. And another one that has yet to hit production is a 2025 Ram 1500 Rev Limited. <laughs> this is another monster battery pack here with 229 kilowatt hours. Cost of that battery pack is estimated to be at $25,853. That's a whopping 31.92%. Let's just round that up to 32%. Total cost of this vehicle is $81,000. I've got a feeling that that truck is going to be more here, especially after the UAW is done with Stellanitis. Their battery pack is a nickel cobalt manganese MCM, and it's, I can't believe how big this battery pack is. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to provide my thoughts until after I get through all of these. Um, for some reason, they decided to do the Rivian Amazon delivery van. Uh, total cost of that one is estimated to be at $52,690, and the battery pack is estimated to come in at $13,298. That's provided by Samsung. SDI, and that's 25.2% of the total cost of the actual vehicle. They're using LFPs, and the battery capacity on that one is 135 kilowatt hours. Next up is the 2023 Mustang Mach-E standard range. Total cost of that one is 43,179, and the pack costs $6,895. That pack is provided by LG, and that's 16% of the total cost of the vehicle. They as of recently, are using LFP now, and that's a total battery capacity of 70 kilowatt hours. And last but not least, a 23 ID4 standard range. Total cost of that one is $37,250. The pack is provided by KATL, and it costs $8730, and that's 23.4% of the total cost of the vehicle. They are using a nickel cobalt manganese, and the battery capacity is 62 kilowatt hours. There are a few thoughts that I have about this infographic. Number one, these traditional automakers are not designing trucks like the Escalade IQ as well as the Ram 1500 Rev with efficiency in mind. That is why they are requiring such humongous battery packs, 200 plus kilowatt hours of energy that it's requiring to move these vehicles. These are gas vehicles that they've converted into electric. 
and the efficiency, or should I say inefficiency of these vehicles, definitely rings loud and clear with the size of the battery pack. The second thought that I have is why didn't they use vehicles that are already in production, like the Ford F-150 Lightning, or the Rivian R1T if you wanted to get some trucks in the mix in this infographic. And the thing that really confounds me about this infographic is why didn't they use the best selling electric vehicles on the market right now, the Model Y and the Model 3. To me, I think this would be far more interesting to see what the cost of the battery pack is, even more than the Tesla Model S since it is a relatively low volume. And why in the world did they choose the Rivian delivery van? I This infographic just has me scratching my head a little bit. I'd love to see a secondary infographic that includes trucks, electric vehicle trucks that are in production today, as well as some of those higher produced electric vehicles on the market like the Model 3, Model Y. Man, you could even choose some vehicles like the Chevy Bolt, the EUV and EV. What are your thoughts on this infographic? Did some of those battery pack costs surprise you? Sign off in the comments down below. And as I get more content out to you all in a more frequent manner, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hit the like button if you found this interesting and valuable. That'll help the YouTube algorithm know that it's a good video. Thanks for watching again and talk to you in the next video.